Hello, good morning, namaskar and jai hind everybody. Today's video a vlog is a very interesting one. It's not me just rambling and talking for 20 minutes, but a quick introduction to a movie, uh, seven, seven and a half minute, uh, in a walk through a beautiful garden of a lovely lady and her husband that they have put together in India. Uh, fully 100% sustainable home that grow their own fruits and vegetables in their garden, recycle every drop of water and then generate their own power to sustain their home. So basically it's a 100% environmentally conscious, sustainable, green, super green home. And you can call it that integrated as a food forest as well. Uh, and it's in a highly, I mean, densely populated urban city in India. I'm not going to put the name and number out there, but any one of you who is interested in getting in touch with, with them, or you get inspired and you need some tips, then you can drop a comment in the video and I'll uh, privately share their number uh, if you give me your email address. But the idea is to keep their privacy uh, while you get inspired inspired by this video and, their, and they walk you through the details of what was their dream, how do they went about uh, putting it together and, and they have reached within four or five years this fully uh, functional operational food forest in an urban setting and on top of it 100% uh, environmentally sustainable uh, infrastructure in their home right from water water uh, you know conservation uh, recycling to you know solar grid uh, solar panels and ev every environmental aspect that you might think of to create a sustainable home uh, these this couple this wonderful beautiful couple has accomplished it so go ahead enjoy the movie and uh, let us know your thoughts and and if you want to get in touch with them drop your email address or something and i'll help you to get in get you in touch with them so get inspired get going and and they have become a role model in in creating a, a wonderfully sustainable healthy organic lifestyle uh, which you can do no matter how much space you have in in whatever urban jungle that you are living in so have fun hello team sudhar we do believe in your principle of conscious social responsibility. In 2014, when we shifted into our house, we realized we wanted to live as sustainable a living as possible. Working towards this goal, my husband Aparjit and I, Manjeet, started researching uh, online as well as asking friends. Whatever we learned, we implemented. Last few years, there's been a lot of hue and cry in the newspapers regarding the malpractices uh, while growing vegetables, about the indiscriminate use of chemical pesticides and fertilizers. It was very disturbing. We wanted to eat healthy, but the organic produce that was available in the market was very expensive. So I decided to try my hand at growing vegetables. I started by growing a few leafy greens in just about 10 pots. My organic garden on the rooftop is completely organic and it has grown manifold. I started my kitchen garden in 2016, like I said, with just a few basic leafy vegetables and uh, which have grown into a variety of uh, seasonal vegetables, including a few exotics like uh, Swiss chard, asparagus, artichokes. The next step towards a sustainable living was to may compost of our wet waste as well as garden waste which I started in 2017. We also collect a lot of dry leaves from the green belt in front of our house for making compost. Since 2019, a part of my kitchen being is being based for making bioenzymes which I use as a fertilizer for my plants. I plan to increase the quantity of these bioenzymes so that I can use it for mopping the floors as well as cleaning the toilets. This is bioenzyme in the making. It's been there for about a month and I'll have to keep it for another couple of months for everything to dissolve and give a nice scented bioenzyme to me. I use stuff from my kitchen for making the pesticides as well as fungicides for my plants. 
there is a drip irrigation in place not only to reduce a workload but also to minimize the consumption of uh, water which is wasted during evaporation so my initiatives in this house were to harness solar like solar energy and to conserve water we started with the solar water heating plant we stored 300 liters of uh, hot water and we could do away with the geysers in our bathrooms next we decided to install a solar power generation plant we calculated our annual consumption and worked out the daily average and we realized that our consumption was higher than normal households so we installed a 10 kilowatt solar energy plant you can see these panels here and this made the house totally self sufficient in terms of electricity we don't we in fact give more electricity to the grid than we can consume we over insured a bit by installing uh, i think a couple of kilowatts extra but we don't mind giving extra energy to the uh, grid or to the government as long as it exceeds our own consumption the solar panels uh, help us harness more of rainwater we installed a rainwater harvesting uh, setup which was divided into two parts the first part is that when the water comes in we have these channels which as you can see goes into a pipe those pipes go into barrels so we have about three barrels that we can store and the overflow of this then goes into a rainwater harvesting pit in in the front lawn and that pit recharges the groundwater the fact of the matter is that no waste water goes out of the house onto the street so the next on the agenda was to conserve the water waste that uh, takes place from the ro so this is the kitchen inside and from the kitchen the ro water waste used to go into the wash basin and used to get wasted we got it channelized through this pipe here and this pipe goes into this barrel and this we utilize to wash maybe the wash the driveway or uh, utilize it for some other purposes it does have a overflow hole and that if it overflows then this water still goes into the rainwater harvesting pit there are about uh, 20 fruit trees on the first floor and i'm planning to increase the number soon this is my hanging garden i practice uh, no dig gardening as well as uh, companion planting the flowers are to attract bees and birds which act as pollinators then as you can see the floor of the lawn is very heavily mulched with dry leaves that is to depict nature whenever the leaves will fall on the soil they will decompose and make a good nutritious food for the plants that are growing recycle the empty glass bottles for making the beds the borders of the beds as well as the pathways we have recycled our old car tires for making planters our aim is to keep learning and implementing more sustainable measures we share our work with our friends and their friends in the hope that someone somewhere someday will start the journey of a sustainable life our aim is to create a ripple effect Thank you team Sudhar for giving us this platform